Hello everyone and welcome back to it. No, not welcome back. No. Welcome to the very first episode first one. of The Witcher Mods. Yes. I'm Cam. Who are you? I'm Seb. Hey, it's, Seb. It's so good to be back by your side. I mean, I uh, technically we never left side by side. No, but that's it's true. good to we be back around on camera like again. I know, least. back on YouTube. It's gonna. You, how Hello many friends. times are we gonna make mistakes and say the wrong game? Probably all the time. I, I hope never. Well, <laughs> guys, we did promise that we would be making more video, new video yes. for our new channel, Cam and Seb. This mm -hmm. is YouTube.com on forward slash Cam and Seb. You know because you're watching there right now. Thank you for that. And yeah, and I know we took about time. We've been really busy doing all manner of stuff. Yes. Um, <laughs> we still haven't got around to making the video where we, we explain to you exactly what the yeah. future holds. But that is coming soon. That's coming really soon, but we thought, you know what? Naff that off for now. Let's, let's play just, some games. Let's just play some games yeah. and do a mod show about The Witcher 3. So yes. this is the first of many, many, many episodes. It feels kind of strange, actually, to be playing a new game, but um, of course we've got, like, New game, new kit, new location, new studio. Yeah. This won't stay the same, by the way. It's no. white for the moment, but we'll get rid of that. We're going to get a green screen in. Yeah. New clothes. New clothes, you know. Uh, everything's, all, everything's, everything's changed. Everything's wonderful. Uh, but I suppose what we should do before we crack on with mm -hmm. modding The Witcher 3 okay. is, seeing as it's a new game, and in fact, there aren't even really any mod tools out there yet. No. We should have a look at how you start basically modding The Witcher Which anyway. is what this first episode is all about. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to be, ba we're going to show you how to very simply add some of the mods that exist. Now there's, a, yes. there's a f quite a few mods now. Um, I think there's over a hundred now on the wow. on the Nexus. There was like twelve last time. I know, I know, right? It was like okay, that's sped up. Yeah, there was three, then there was thirty. Now there's over a hundred, and yeah. a lot of the, like because the actual development kit. So with Skyrim mod, the Skyrim released, or I should say Bethesda released um, the SDK straight away, which allowed yeah. the mod tools, which allowed people to go ahead, go and dig right into the game and make some really complicated mods. Now. CD Projekt Red haven't done that yet, although apparently they definitely are, which yes. is fantastic news. That's good to hear. So once those keys of, to the kingdom are given... I love that given, you said, apparently, definitely. Apparently, definitely. <laughs> apparently, definitely. But like once the talented people who make the mods yes. have the ability to do that level of complexity in The mm. Witcher, it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to ramp up super fast. Yes. Yes, but we have The Witcher 3 on PC. And speaking of it's which... It's running pretty well. Should we look at it? I think... I think we've already been looking at it, Have Cameron. we? Oh, yeah. well here we go. I think because we were talking for quite a long time, so I thought maybe it'd be nice to look at Geralt You of smart man. Rivia. And look at him, Geralt of Rivia. Seb, why is he Geralt of Rivia? Uh, I believe that is because he is from oh. Rivia. Well, then, so you could say he is man from place, he is Geralt from Rivia. Yeah, well then you could have, you could have easily been Geralt Van Rivia. As I mean, well, if, he, right? if he were I mean, Dutch, if he was Dutch, yeah, because yes. Van means from. It does. Oh, he's I Polish, mean, though. I it's, suppose it, it, he is Polish, so yeah. I guess he could never be Geralt Van Rivia. That's but a shame. So many frames, all sixty of them. Yeah. And um, but we, the first mod we're going to show you how to install and actually add to this game um, is going to be a mod that is changes the look to make. The Witcher 3 look a bit like the trailer that was released in E3 2013 because wow. there's been a little bit of a kerfuffle yeah. since the game has come out about how it doesn't look how people thought it might look. This is a very warm landscape, isn't it? It is. It's it just is. like it's all suns out. I look, mean, we'll do some them. killing, but everyone's really happy about yeah. it. I, mean, <laughs> I know. They're not. Even obviously. this. No, look at her. She's she's, she's like, so happy. Oh, uh, the the colours. She, she's they been, blinded me. Been, I must stare at this very banal grey. She's been laughing so much yeah. that her head hurts. You know, because oh, she's so happy. God, the soil will help. The notice board is full of messages of people saying how happy they are. And, like it really <laughs> is. Look, but these flowers are really vibrant, aren't they? They really are. Geralt, pick the flowers, man. So just to to clarify, the the mod that exists now uh, is a. It's a reshader, yes, but it's nothing like really the ENBs that you no, may have no, seen no, from it's, other mod shows. It's very about different. Other games. Wait, other uh, mod shows about other games exist? I don't, I don't believe know, it. Never heard of them. <laughs> so uh, the, it doesn't add that level of detail yet. I think we can probably safely assume that ENBs are coming, given that EMB dev uh, Boris Ronstov did put. An EMB out for The Witcher 2. Oh god, he oh. doesn't like me! Oh no, oh no! Run. It's okay, you can outrun that horse. Run, Ger <laughs> Run Geralt! Run Geralt! There's a mod for that. Mm. Shall we um, jump out of the game and uh, show the good people how you can install a mod? Let's do exactly that. The first thing you'll notice is that instead of using Steam, we're using GOG. G -G good old Galaxy. games. Uh, I was very upset to find that someone had already taken Ready Sebi. Son of a bit! I kill him. <laughs> this system is almost certainly going to change. Oh yeah. So once there's like Nexus mod manager support and yes. various other bits and pieces, I'm certain 
that this is all going to be yeah. completely but pointless. But for, for, for the meantime, it's kind of like a manual download was with Skyrim. You yes. just have to put the files from the mod in the right folder, and then inside... C drive, got games, games which three, Wild three Hunt. very easy to find. Then it's in bin. Bin. Then X64. X64. Basically, you're looking for the folder which has the Witcher 3 EXE, and there it is! As you can see right there. So, that is part one. Part two is in your downloads folder. And this is the Blue Peter moment when we say, here's some we've downloaded earlier! Well, we definitely downloaded There's earlier. a reference that only, actually less than half of our audience will get, because, Seb, did you realize that most of our audience is in America? Is that right? Yeah, it is, yeah. And we have obnoxiously been spelling color wrong <laughs> I'm so all this sorry. time. I'm so sorry as well. So. One thing that I've already noticed here, these are the three files we'll be dropping in. Yes. We've got the reshade folder, which is filled with all sorts of Ooh, useful stuff. Oh, look at all the gubbins, yeah. Uh, we've got the FX folder, yep. and we've got the DLL folder. Oh, but it's now, D3. I remember an, a, another game that we used to play that had D3, D9. I know, Oblivion. No. That's the one. Yes. And the other one. Skyrim. What? Skyrim, <laughs> right? say that oh, word. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, we owe so uh, much. Pull it. Yes. Pull it. Yeah, that one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and that was um, D3, D3, D9. D9. So D9. it's nice to see that we've upgraded two whole DirectXs. I know. Wonderful. All the way to DirectX so let's, 11. Let's drop them in. Simple. That goes in there. Move and replace. Move and replace. Done. And there right. you go. And that is the mod now installed. Yeah, now, that this, was very, very difficult. We should probably say that what, which mod this is. So if you oh, um, yes. jump to the browser. Yeah, uh, we are we using go. that's the one. Here we go. Scroll up, 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 up. E three FX by Drogian. 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 Great work. Drogian. It's great. Look, there's already a Nexus mod. Yeah, clicking Witcher, it. Clicking it. Which are three thing. And as you can see, this mod is the most popular. The one in the top slot there. It, it is, is the most endorsed, most downloaded mod so far. Yep. And uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at it. It's there it is. Worked. It's already worked. You can see because it's see text, the text. Text that wasn't there before. Wonderful. Up in the top left. That seems to be the, the mod text location of choice. Oh, yes, yes, intro. I hate how it plays that intro every <laughs> Pretty time. Pretty Sebi go one in the oh, corner. That's no. so heartbreaking. I just really hope they bring in a, a mod to m make you not have to watch that intro animation every time. You know like, what? I bet there was one for that game we used to play, and we never, ever installed it. Yeah, probably. So the thing that I've noticed first, and I'm sure everyone else has, is the color of the sky, especially yeah. in the distance. Like, yeah, it's much bluer. Now you see, we've turned off all the HUD and everything. I've actually been playing this game with hardly any HUD on whatsoever. It's so hard. And it just makes it so much better because yeah. it reminds you so of much being more immersive. Home. Yes, it reminds me. <laughs> which country am I from, Zev? I don't even. You know. You don't even know, do you? Poland, I thought. Yes, pretty much. And uh, if we gallop through here, I just like how you look, look at the tower in the school. distance. Look at that. If you've been playing The Witcher 3 or you're not even started playing it yet, yeah. do not, well, I don't know why I span on to 5, do not worry because we are not going to spoil anything in this game. You know, like we are Certainly not going to try. We're, 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 I mean, we're not going to try. <laughs> yeah, we're, take we're that. We're definitely going to try. <laughs> Decode um, that if you will. Look at this, this has definitely changed the colour. Like, I'm, I'm really seeing it now. I think it's maybe it's harder to see during the really saturated daylight. I'll bit. save you. Uh, I guess there's no way to know exactly how much health you have. No, I turned all that stuff off. <laughs> <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see how long we survive. You know what would be really good? It would be really What's good that? to have an early mod that is comparable to iHUD. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. That's absolutely what I want. Now, Kill the damn ghoul girl! I, I already know that uh, Gopher, who makes iHUD, or Immersive HUD, has already started modding uh, the Witcher 3. Well, he, at least he's been making videos about it. I assume he's probably waiting for the official kit before he cracks in himself, but... Die! In case there was wow. any concern, uh, make sure you do make iHUD. Yes, go for please, it. Please, because please it's really important to me. Maybe these guys are unkillable. What? Sorry, friend, you're on your own. Let's leave that guy to his ghoulish fate. <laughs> and uh, onwards. There is a weather mod already that apparently gives you more extreme weather. Again, I don't think it's very like well fleshed out. It's just there is more uh, lightning strikes in the sky and more thunder booms when it is mean, a storm. I mean, uh, does that mean we're going to have trees bending almost fully, fully sideways? If you look at those ones, even in this wind, they're they're giving it some, yeah, some the, bendy welly. The plants know? and trees are kind of <laughs> some bendy welly. That's you heard phrase. it. <laughs> the plants and trees are always moving in this game. You know what? I'm, I'm starting really, to really dig this mod now. Actually. Yeah, I'm really like, starting the, to dig the, the mod. Color, the colors here are just lovely. Uh, yeah, this game, like, is this game has been modded with entirely one mod so far. And, and we're like, oh, looks. oh my god, it's so I beautiful. Know, know. No, to be fair, it is beautiful. What kind of specs are we running this at, Seb, on our PC? So uh, we're running 16 gigs of RAM and we are using an AMD processor mm -hmm. um, because they are cheaper and we are yes. starting from scratch. 
Uh, and we're also using a GTX 980. Uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty beefy. Pretty powerful. Yeah, yeah. It, it's certainly not the most extreme um, gaming rig, but you know, maybe we can upgrade it a little bit more in the future. But for now, it certainly seems to run it on as close to ultra settings as I yeah. can. We're just, we're a whisker under ultra, aren't Yeah, we really? so all we've done, we basically set it to ultra settings and then dialed some of the things from ultra down back down to high so like the amount of background characters some of the sharpening as well yeah um, I know, i'm, I'm not a big fan of sharpening to be perfectly honest yeah and uh it kind of you see the textures too clearly almost i think that yeah. is possible so um, i think yeah our texture detail is set to high not ultra and that was one that seemed to affect it quite a lot oh, interestingly um i think it was running perfectly fine on everything on ultra but every now and then the frame rate would drop significantly for like a second and then yeah. come back. And so it was just something I just wanted to get rid of. Of course, everyone's been saying that like The Witcher still has some um, PC optimization to do. So I'm sure as the game ages and patches and updates come out for it, we're going to see this, even this own, my own rig, our own rig, yeah. uh, to be able to handle it a lot better. I think so. Yeah. I think so. The reason why the map is really underpopulated is because Seb hasn't been anywhere yet. Nope. So what, when you ride around, you will see a lot more things. So um, let's uh, choose a rough destination. Should we go investigate all these little archipelago islands around here? Let's do exactly that. Okay, so I'm just going to set a marker. I know we won't be able to see it, actually, because we've got the map turned off. That's fine. Right, so, so we just, just need to head, turn right a bit. We need to kind of head uh, west, faster. I guess, towards that setting sun. Towards the setting sun. Okay, can do. See, when you turn off the mini-map, you have to... Think a bit more logical. So wise. It. It's like going I mean, back yeah. to our roots. This is amazing. Yeah. I love how you. Why do you still have the giant? What is that inside of the? Is that a head of a creature? Uh, yes, that is my trophy. I don't understand um, why that's still on your horse. Because it's uh, it, it it's a buff. Oh feed. yeah, yeah. Because I, I I equip a different trophy. That's why actually. I got a trophy from killing a spectre thing. Oh okay. So yeah, I, I think. That. Um, what you mean the the. Yes, the yes, thing. The nice. we're, we're not going to spoil it. I remember now There's... all those spoilers we said we weren't going to spoil. Oh, I've already. Oh yeah, towards the sun. I'm really glad you said that because I was like, I'm already not getting completely. Lost. You need to go slightly left of the sun. It's just such a great game for. Like Skyrim was always wonderful for just getting lost in the in the wilderness, and I'm so glad that The Witcher Three is also like that. Like it truly is a massive open world, and I was okay. worried that when you would play The Witcher 3, that it, it would be segmented a bit more than it is. And it, there's barely any segments at all. It is basically one giant open world. This blacksmith, look at this chap. He's Often the black quite late into the day. Yeah, he's not a dwarf either. Most blacksmiths are dwarves. Yeah. Actually, new weapons as mods to that will be fantastic as yeah. well. No, I've not actually forged anything in this game yet. I've, so. I've forged armor, but I haven't forged a weapon yet. So, okay, if, you, so if you scoot right down to the bottom. And you have he's not very good. I do. Uh, 49 to 61, that's very good. So it's a plus 39 buff on the one that we've got at the moment. Uh, what? That's massive! I, I know, it's All epic. Right. Your, your current sword is terrible. Uh, what about this one? Oh, but it's going to cost coin we do not have. So if you could kindly flog a load of crap. Can I well, be. Make sure I don't flog the stuff you need to, to build the thing. Uh, how oh, much it must have been an old save where I accidentally equipped like a rusty sword. Oh, I see. If you go... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter now. Maybe that's why the ghoul wasn't dying. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no, that'd be oh, the silver one, though. <laughs> Anyway, um, should yeah. we get rid of all the, or your trousers? Yes, yes, flog these trousers. And the boots? Uh, yes, flog the boots. And the clothes? Flog all of our fancy clothes. Okay, we don't need them. Okay, I think we have enough. All right, let's try it, let's try it. So, okay. crafting. I like how you can jump in between the crafting the shop actually in here. That's very clever. We need a mod that makes it even faster though. Okay, so we're building this one, right? Yep, let's do it. Oh, actually we did have enough coin. How about that? <laughs> oh. So which of well, this... That didn't cost us anything. No, it did, just not a lot. Oh, so where were you, you reading the price? Oh, I, you, were, you were looking at the blacksmith's gold is what you were looking at. Maybe? Shut up. Maybe. Shut up. <laughs> Go up. We should get some dust. Look at... Oh! Look at that one! All oh, right, yeah, okay. Wow, we all required level 13. <laughs> okay. Also, yeah. Well, yeah, you can still build it, you just can use it for a while. But this one, if we got some... Um, what is that green stuff? Let's have a look. Emerald dust. Do you know how you get that? You could buy it off him. Please be cheap. Not enough oh! color. Look how expensive how it is! is it? 571! <laughs> what? Where did you... What? Uh, sell that <laughs> ring! Sell that crappy ring! Oh, they're actually quite good. You're gonna get a lot of gold for that. Oh, he doesn't have enough money. 
Oh, balls. There you would nothing. have money if we could just See, negotiate what we need a trade. Is a trade mechanic. Trade mechanic! Someone mod that! Go for trade mechanic. This is the perfect time to explain that there is a great mod, which we'll show in the next episode, which actually gives the vendors more money. That is a brilliant mod. Because uh, they, don't really, they don't really have enough. No. Um, and they, they sell stuff for... Like, if you sell something to them, you get nothing for it. It's really annoying. I, l I wonder if they are going to be... <laughs> oh, God, I just tried Gwent. to punch this old woman. Gwent mods. Oh, definitely. That would be cool. You know cool. what I want? What? I want a Gwent mod that makes Gwent like Hearthstone. Yes. This guy. Oh, You were using a rusty, terrible sword. <laughs> Why are you using the worst sword in the world? It was an accident. Oh, this one's got a... Um, a slot. A I slot. I actually <laughs> thought I had a, uh, a thing for that, but evidently... Evidently not. So Now, do we want to uh, snooze until it's uh, morning time? Basically looks good at about 4 a.m. Oh, maybe, maybe one more. Whoa! Whoa it's bright. There's some sunshine. The sun is sure coming up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's... Maybe uh, give it one more hour. All right, okay. This is the, the blinding hour, as they call it. Okay, there we that's are. that's much better. S the sky is Whoa. still pretty ominous. Jeez. Oh, I think there might be a fight of brewing. A fight of brewing? I don't know. Hey, good pals. This is the one thing we might accidentally wind up happening across, is uh, side quests. Yeah. So, um... But there are like a bazillion of them. And fire! See, now I normally play this game with a, um, a really good Quen spell. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This He's guy's quite good. With his He's pretty good with the old pitchfork. He sure is. And look, now that we don't have that rusty sword, you'd have thought we'd have, you'd be Ow. axing them to bits by now. But Would you just would you stop blocking everything I do? What do you make of the combat in this game? So? I so far like it, but that's just because I've missed difficult combat. Ah, uh, new signs. That'll be a mod they do, right? Yeah, there's definitely going to be new signs that you could add that would be... Oh, he just lost Whoa. an arm! Oh, Whoa. oh, where'd you come from, Mr. Pickaxe Man? Do you reckon there's gonna be a Dance of Death mod that adds new executions? Dismemberment, I think so. Oh, they're pretty gruesome. Yeah. There's one, still a guy left. Oh no, he died. The flames did kill him. I hate lynch mobs. How'd you feel about lynch mobs, Seth? Yeah, indifferent. Indifferent, yeah. They have their place. Oh, yeah. so, oh so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Watch where you're swinging, then, pal. I, I shouldn't have saved him. I mean, surely that's gonna be a mod that's gonna come soon as well, which will be the one that allows you to attack anybody. Yeah. You know, because at the moment there you are restricted on who you can and can't swing at. Oh wow, advanced signs. To cast a sign it's alternate mode, hold RT. I didn't okay, know that. Okay, let's a thing. do this, let's do this. I wanna right, see, I wanna see, see, I wanna okay, see. Okay, okay, so your uh, current igni oh, that's the torch. <laughs> <laughs> it's turned into Whoa, a torch! It's so oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then it said hold RT. Wow, okay. Is we, that it? Yeah, it, so if you let me put the torch away. So, normally... Fire. And I hold it down. Oh, it kind of looked the same, didn't it? Okay, there's often trouble found down by the water's edge. Always there? trouble to be found in <clears> the water. <throat> Are they drowners? Be oh, is that like a dead whale? That's Which awesome! Sense. There must be something near here that we can have. Whales are known for swallowing gifts. Uh, do you want to go in the water? Oh, a hidden treasure! That's got to be it right there. Nah, definitely. Uh -oh. oh, God. You can't fight underwater either. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm pretty sure they can, so I think you just need to be quick. Loot, loot like you never looted before, Seb. I'm trying to loot like I've never looted before. I don't know, I also turned off your breath indicator, so have fun with that. <laughs> I'm trying to surface. Oh no, they killed you. Oh. Well, Seb, much like that poor whale's existence, yes. this episode is also coming to an end. I will. has come to an end. I will honor him by standing on his head. So next time we will definitely do a bunch more mods. This is just one, this uh, graphics mod, but we will do yeah. loads. And uh, But now at least you know how to get involved and do it yourself. Yes, well, at least the basics. At and the basics. I'm sure things are going to change quite quickly uh, how you might go about modding different parts of The Witcher, mm -hmm. even before, I assume, the, the red kit comes out. Yeah. But there you go. So in the meantime, um, yeah. because we... We don't. This is the first episode of the show. We don't mm. have any comments or anything from last week. Nope. Like might have happened in a previous show. We maybe used to do. But what we, we what we can do is have a look at some of your comments on our YouTube channel. Um, before we do that, though, while Seb brings that up, yeah. Um, what we'd love for you guys to do before our next episode is to suggest us some mods that you'd like to see. Like we've thrown around some ideas throughout this whole episode. I think our ideas have been you, really good. They have but... been really great. But if you can think of anything else, yes. we've probably taken all the best ones. Yeah. Let us know, and in the next few episodes, we will we will read them out. Yeah, I would great. love to know what everyone's suggestions are, especially yeah. if you're a mod creator. Yes. So um, I had an idea. Okay. Bear with me on this. Go on, okay. Then. This isn't a mod idea per se right it's a a, a bigger idea a better ooh, idea ooh, I like, uh, I when like the it. kit comes out maybe we could make a small video micro series 
Cam and Seb fail to make a mod. Oh, that's a really... Only because one of um, one of our favorite uh, YouTubers who covers mods, Gopher, yeah. uh, who we mentioned he's, earlier. He's brilliant at mods. He not he's only covers the mods, he but makes, he makes them, them as well. And really and useful we, ones. We need to step up our game, you know? we got to got to represent the community. Exactly. So uh, how about Cam and Seb fail to make a really, Let's really good that. mod? Let's or, you know what, that. maybe even we succeed. Who, who knows? knows? But should we have a look at some of the comments that we got from our first video that said we are going to be producing <laughs> content here. So if you haven't seen this video, yes. I am shocked because how the hell else are you on this channel? It's but our current only other video on YouTube. Exactly. So, uh, but basically, we, we had lots of really nice comments from you guys. Um, so should we have a look at you? In fact, Gopher himself. Yes. And Gopher himself commented, I'm an old man, change is bad. Kill it, kill it with fire, unsubbed. Oh, well, Thanks, I'm sorry, Gopher. Gopher. It was nice of him to sub in the first place, though. I know. That was very, very sub kind. sub and unsub. That's got yeah. 244 thumbs up, so wonderful thumbing up. It's really nice to see support from someone like Gopher because yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely. he has been such a, a powerful force in our modding history. Exactly. You exactly. like all these little nods to the past without ever actually saying yes. anything. Very but clever. Seb, that's the joke. You can't reference this clever joke. Shut up. Okay, next mod. <laughs> next Cameron mod, Arthur. next question. Uh, it says, hey guys, I have an idea for what you could do on this channel. What you could do is, once a week, maybe Tuesday or Saturday. Okay, Tuesday or Saturday, that's okay. our choices, right. Okay. Release a video about mods for a game. Mm. Nah. That'll never work, never catch on. You would only need to do five mods, though. I think that's a good amount. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the amount that we used to do? What do you mean used to do? This is the first time we've ever modded, oh, of course, ever yes, modded yes. a game. So. Now the game would have to be one that is very popular. Ah. And the modding community, very active. So maybe something like... A game. <laughs> <laughs> I love this comment. <laughs> what you could do, what you could also do, is have one of the mods be fan picked out out of three other mods, and oh. whichever one got the most votes ah. could be one of the five. It's a terrible idea. That's just an idea. Terrible idea. That's... Nobody would ever watch that. No, they awful. wouldn't. I mean, awful. Awful. Nice, nice comment. Left yeah, very yeah, articulate. Like... I'm, I just think all but of your ideas. Your ideas are terrible. They're, they're a mess. They never really. work. Yeah. No, choose, nobody um, watches stuff on a Tuesday or Saturday. <laughs> no, exactly. Crazy. Exactly. Crazy. So, uh, you know, a few days. Uh, sorry, this is David Ruffin says. Uh, you know, a few Hi, days ago, I watched your goodbye video, and I was really bummed out. It felt like the closing of the door, the end of a chapter, an end to a much beloved series. But now that I've seen this channel, all my bitter disappointment has turned into something else. A sense of excitement. <laughs> In a way, you're not closing a door, but rather losing your shackles. Yes. Just think of all the things these two can do now. They're free to play whatever they want. Look, um, unshackled. We were always free Wrists. to play whatever we wanted. We true, pretty to, much. To be clear, uh, say whatever they want, do whatever they want. This is Cam and Seb in Read More. In Read, in read More. <laughs> They're raw, uncensored state. And frankly, I'm quite excited for the new Seb possibilities this freedom might bring. Can't believe I'm saying this but I'm glad that old show of your lives has passed. I can't wait to see what's next for you. <laughs> Did you really write old show? No, no. No, 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 I've just re reworded some of your show. stuff. I'm not sure if that's against the rules, but hey, this is Raw Unshackled Cam and Seb. <laughs> we can do what we want. <laughs> There's no rules. Yeah. Wonderful. We don't have to adhere to journalistic integrity anymore. Journalistic what? Um, anyway, yes. so. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our first episode of The Witcher 3 Mods. Yes. And uh, this one, obviously, you know, we, we just messed around a little bit. Think of this as your aperitif to your main meal of Witcher mods that's going to come over the next coming weeks and months. Yes. I'm really excited to see what comes out because given how excitable and enthusiastic and creative the community was for our last modding show, yes. uh, it would be really cool to see what can be done with this. Yeah. And because I know that they share some themes, you know, the sort of like sword shield magic things that are quite similar, but yeah. actually the design of the game is slightly different. You know the thing we've been really bad at so far in this episode? What because it's something new we have to do. Yeah. Um, if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, oh, yes. please, 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 please subscribe. Oh um, yeah. Because we no longer work at the big website in which we used to work, which mm. was a lovely place to work and they're was. wonderful people. Yes, they are absolutely really fantastic it. by the way. Yeah. Um, but because we don't work there anymore, um, we are starting this new channel from scratch, and the response has already been incredible. Like yeah. we, we've not even posted a proper video, and we've got over six thousand people already subbed. That's incredible. So if you like this video, please yes. share it. Please subscribe. There will be more next time. I promise. We'll be much more focused on the mods. Mm -hmm. This is just like uh, easing ourselves into it. Um, but please subscribe. YouTube.com/forward/slash/cam and Seb. We should also mention as well that 
the Witcher mods is not the only thing that we're going to be doing on this channel. Absolutely not. But okay. we'll tell you more about our future plans very soon. Yes, there's very so soon. much more to come. All right, well, given that we don't have any other elements to this show to add just yet, um, it's been really nice to just do this again. Play games again with yeah. you, yeah, to be to honest. Yeah, to play like a fantasy game. Yeah. It's a bit, it's, it was very different, but it it's different. full of exciting new possibilities, especially yeah. once the mods really get here yeah. with, the, with the proper uh, SDK. The whole thing available. has been a lot of fun, even yeah. so much as designing our fantastic little micro studio that yeah, you're in, yeah. uh, complete with microphone here. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you, <laughs> have to be so invasive in the shot, the, d the new mechanical divider between us. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, We've got a high, we'll, we'll, um, we'll post a photo maybe of our high tech setup sometime. I, one day. <laughs> but right now, I don't want to destroy the magic. I would love to invite you to really appreciate what, what it is we've made. Because you can't see what's outside the oh, screen no. here. Or what this, Probably is, best what this microphone's sitting on, but nope. never mind, never mind. Maybe you would fall out of love with us. Pr so we will possibly. never show. Alrighty. At least for now. Well, okay. well then, Seb, thank you very much. I don't know why I'm thanking you, because we don't we don't need to do it like that anymore. No, you know, no, like, no. You used to, we're pals the old, the old show, we were always pals. The old show, I guess, I first went to it first, and that's why when you first joined, you were like a guest, and then after like two episodes, you were a host. Yeah. But I still always was like, thanks, Thanks Seb. for joining me. Thanks for joining me. A regular host. Because I'm a jerk. Well. But um, we shouldn't do that anymore. No. Let's just say... Thanks for joining us. Thanks Thank for you. joining us, Thank guys. you for joining us. Exactly. You're the new co-host. Yeah, we'd Save love to fire. see all the feedback you've got, not just for what mods you'd like to see, but about everything to yeah. do with this show, um, our setup, everything. We really appreciate you watching this. Yeah. It's, and there's going to be loads more videos, so. And how can they tweet you, Cam? They can tweet me at CamFrazRob. That hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. That's my Twitter. Yeah, and mine's still the same. It's ReadySebiGo1. Ready <laughs> no, it's at ReadySebiGo. It's just Gog. Damn, Damn it. you, Gog. <laughs> yeah, at ReadySebiGo, at CamFrazRob. Oh, we also have... Um, our Facebook page as well, which is if you want to want to follow yeah. us there. We haven't done much there so yet. Cam and Seb on Facebook. Cam and Seb yep. on Facebook. We'll be Cam and Seb. We have a Twitter account as well at Cam and Seb, and we're still going to tweet. Yeah, we're still going to tweet ourselves yeah. as ourselves, but also as that account as well mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah, and we have Instagram. We do have Instagram we there do. as well. Yeah, and we have all this stuff. Yeah, great. So much Cam and There's Seb. There's so much more to come. Is basically what he's trying to say. Yes. Okay. Great. Well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and we will see you soon for more Witcher 3 mods and more other video too. Mm -hmm.